Okay, so we are now entering the forebrain, and the forebrain is is uh, extremely complicated. I, I, I've always been uh, fairly intimidated by the forebrain, uh, uh, but we, we we can get through it. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to continue our caudal to rostral journey. Uh, we're going to take it in chunks. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the hypothalamus, and then we'll talk about the dorsal thalamus. And we will also talk about the connection. The dorsal thalamus is, a, is an interpreter for the uh, cerebral cortex. So we'll talk about the connection between thalamus and cortex. And then we will talk about, cort we'll actually end up by talking about cortical function, uh, a variety of cortical functions. We're also going to look at, uh, we're also going to look at subcortical, two major subcortical structures. One is the basal ganglia. Uh, the basal ganglia, which, we, which has already been uh, introduced, remember it, it, it are, is um, the core elements of the basal ganglia are the stratum and the, and the pallidum, which develop from the ganglionic eminences in the ventral telencephalon. And the other uh, major structure that we're going to look at is the uh, amygdala. We will look at their functions. We'll look a little bit at the function of the hypothalamus, although a lot of the hypothalamic function will, will hold off on examining in detail until we talk about homeostasis m almost at the end of the course. The other thing that we're going to do here is we're going to treat the forebrain as an anatomical entity. So I want to be able to show you sections uh, through the, the forebrain and for you to be able to orient yourselves. Uh, so we're going to look at um, subcortical structures. We're going to look at the structure of the ventricular cyst, uh, the structure of the ventricles. We're going to look at the um, optic radiation. The, remember the visual fields that coming from the eye, going back to the visual cortex. That is a really nice pathway for us to follow. Another key structure that we're going to look at that's part of the, of the forebrain is, are the internal capsules. And remember that the internal capsules form the physical join between the diencephalon and the telencephalon. Okay, so let's get our journey started by looking at the hypothalamus. <music>